Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's adventure, we are in a uh, place called Hunan Castle. It's a historical ruin, dates back to various periods between the Ottomans, uh, the Crusaders, and more recently, there was an Ar this was an Arab village that in 1948 was uh, depopulated slash, you know, came into Israeli territory. Where, where we are now, it's on the kind of outskirts of Margaliot, which is another one of these smaller Israeli towns that's just on the Lebanese border. And uh, I've got myself a little bit of extra border spotting today because just right here in this direction that I'm pointing behind me uh, is the border with Lebanon. You can actually see the houses in Lebanon behind me there. You can actually see the blue line markings of the UN. And uh, my wife and I are on a uh, little staycation. We live in Jerusalem and uh, Jerusalem is, we like Jerusalem for the most part. It's definitely kind of a unique place, but there is this kind of indescribable tension about Jerusalem that a lot of uh, people kind of pick up on when you live there for a while. And I personally find the north of Israel very, very therapeutic. It's got this kind of calm energy, much calmer energy than you get in Jerusalem. So that's why we like coming up here. Given that Israel is such a small country, it also makes it easy. It was about a two hour drive, two and a half hour drive from Jerusalem up to the north. But you know, in the grand scheme of things, that's not so big. And especially at a time when traveling internationally is so complicated with PCR tests. If I want to travel outside of Israel right now, we need to get one before we travel. We need to get one probably on the way there. Then you also need to get one when you come back as far as I know. So compared to the massive difficulty right now of traveling internationally, we find this is a great, great time to staycation. Can be really expensive, but if you get a good booking.com deal, you can get some like decent deals, good place to come to next time we're here in the north of Israel. So just continuing slightly further up the road here, here's myself with the Femi. Uh, there's one more cool place to see Lebanon from outside Margaliot. And I just want to show you guys when I get there, Google Maps so that the, where we are is uh, it's a bit more clear. And this is again the same view we we're looking at before. So this is a really, really sweet view in terms of how good views get of Lebanon from Israel because you can really see the houses here, the individual houses as I've mentioned a few times now, so I'll stop mentioning it. These are all in Lebanon. You can actually see two blue line markers. You can see that those kind of white dots. So most of the border with Lebanon, most Israeli borders are not big concrete barriers. The one we saw yesterday outside Misgav Am, those are kind of more actually fortifications to protect, usually places that are vulnerable to sniper fire, that kind of stuff. For the most part, it's just a pretty inconspicuous fence which has, it's a smart fence, so the army gets notifications. And that's really all it is. It's, you wouldn't, you kind of could mistake it for a regular farm fence. The blue line marker is a little bit more distinctive. You can see halfway up that hill, I'll add a little arrow to my video. They, the UNIFIL, the United Nations Interim Force in Lebanon, they basically measure these things to the nearest inch. It's a whole operation, you can watch them do it. They triangulate the exact position along the blue line. And they have these very distinctive kind of concrete ballasts and then a little blue UN marker. So that's the marker that's just up and you can see it's just a tiny, about 10 meters north of the border. Uh, so that's Lebanon after the blue line and those buildings up on top of that hill, those would be in Lebanon. Um, from Israel, that to me looks like a Lebanese army watchtower up the top there. So yeah, there's really just a little bit of farmland. We're looking here at the last northernmost kilometer within Israel territory here. And as I mentioned, there is the patrol road for the army. Where we are exactly, taking out my phone here, I'm just gonna put this layer down. So I'm the blue dot here. Uh, this is Hunan Castle. And we're looking across, this is the UN blue line here. And then these are the buildings on the other side of the UN. You can actually see in satellite view, all these Lebanese buildings. 33.221406 is latitude and 35.543513 is longitude just outside the Hunan Castle, basically a little bit further up the road.
uh, you may be getting the idea from this YouTube channel that I'm kind of obsessed with borders. I really love borders, I don't know why. Actually, that's not true. When I was a kid, we went to Nicosia in Cyprus, and I think that's where my border interest stems from because through Nicosia, you have the border between the TRNC and Greek Cyprus running. Just that way is Margaliot, which is another one of the Israeli towns that are just built literally on the Blue Line. It's the only part of Israel where I kind of can feel that kind of sense of calm that I think is very much fitting with the surroundings. It's a beautiful Mediterranean country. It should feel calm, but... Not exactly sure what this structure is. It's labeled in uh, Hebrew here, Amda Echad Station 1. Looks to be like a bunker. Uh, this may actually have been a bunker. I mean, given the strategic import of this place, it's literally on the Lebanese border. This may actually have been it looks very much like a military bunker. Hope there's no one or nothing inside. We're going to find out soon enough. And you can see kind of camouflage here. Uh, yeah, definitely stuff for camouflage. And little kind of lookout here facing into Lebanon. It's super dark in here. You can still see there is uh, kind of sleeping bags. So probably soldiers here were keeping watch over South Lebanon. It's just kind of tilted downward so it's not directly facing into Lebanon, but you can see into South Lebanon if you kind of just angle yourself away a bit. So during times of hostilities, what I'm doing now presumably would have been pretty dangerous. You wouldn't want to be completely exposed looking straight into those houses on the Lebanese side. That's exactly what I'm doing right now. So I've just got my uh, Femi up here on a selfie stick. I'm gonna just climb onto this bollard here so I get an even better view. 